Okay, so I'm going to show you DSD Plus working. And then what we'll do is go through each of the options on SDR Sharp, just so you can see the effect of having a different option on there. And then if you're having a problem, like I have in, in the past, you could probably isolate what your problem is, rather than going through all the options and uh, um, tinkering, taking more than necessary. So I'm just going to play this frequency, which is on the 70 centimeter handband. And here's where I found a digital frequency to decode. So this is everything working now and you can see it's decoding because this data here. You can see that toggle moving here. Okay. Okay, so this needs to be a narrow FM. The squelch is just on, so when they're not talking, you won't hear a fuzz. So leave that on. Audio. It's a Unity game. Don't hear anything at all. It's just dead. Let's turn it or uncheck it. That's back. Filter audio. It's going to hear a filtered version and the sound quality may not come through, so leave that unchecked. Okay, untick AGC if you want a slightly clearer voice coming through. FFT display, nothing to do here. Audio noise reduction, let's have a look. No issues. We'll try if noise reduction. And say talk. Typical, no one's talking when you want them to. So it's just making that noise because it's idle. They've got the signal on, but they're not actually talking. Okay, I might need to pause the video.
Okay, so the if noise and enable aux uh, didn't do anything, but as soon as you mute the frequency, as the title suggests, you mute it so you can't hear it. And obviously you need to have DSD started, so once it's on, you'll see buffers changing and your only option will be stop DSD, which will take all of these out of the screen. Once you start, it will auto load these back on. So let's unmute so we can hear. No effect here. In fact, I'll do it. Some effect there. Unless the voice is coming through, but it's struggling. So have that unchecked. That's causing a problem, so unchecked. Recording, not applicable. Not applicable. Not applicable. Not applicable. And there you go, so there's all the options. A uh, couple of things as well. So if you change the sample rate, either slightly up to sort of 2.56 down to 2.048 within this range can affect the signal coming through. So try that. Have these options. Offset tuning and RTL automatic gain control checked. Tuner AGC, I'll show you. Doesn't like that. Keep it at 37.2 decibels. In fact, I'm just going to try this again because it shouldn't affect it, so bear with me. There we go. Yeah, so as I thought, it shouldn't really affect it. So, uh, but I, I keep mine off for uh, this purpose. Let's close that one. The sound recording. So here's what it should look like. Output device, USB speaker. That's where the sound is coming out, once you can hear it. Input should be the cable output, VB audio, virtual cable. That's important. Microphone, so that sound you can hear. That'll be synced to this bar here. Let's have a look at any other options. Okay, playback. As you can see, my USB speakers, cable input, speakers are my default device, cable input is ready. Okay. If you click the device, then these options will come up and allow you to configure a set of defaults, etc. Recording should be set to cable output. Default device again. Click properties to make it your uh, default. Um, you just need to highlight it and click it. Um, mine's already set as default, hence it's still greyed out. Sounds, don't think we change anything there, or that I can remember changing, and communication stays as it is. So hopefully that will help you. Um, or oh, one other thing, frequency, I found to begin with a lot of videos, talk to you to say, find a frequency. 
I'm locked on to this here. So under the 70 centimetre handband is where I found a lot of applicable signals to actually decode. So that would be the place to, to start. I'd recommend if you can't find any. This signal that we're listening to now is 442.612.500 frequency. As you can see, that red line indicates where we are um, on the frequency range. And on the waterfall, another way to look at it is you can see it here. This is the waterfall, what the signal looks like. So it's a, a red bar with yellow edges is the best way to describe it. And a, a thick line coming through is a signal coming in. So you want to look for um, RF signals that look or resemble this, this line here. Okay. So hopefully that helps.